What is up, goons, gangsters, and gamers? It's your boy, the Good Sir Knight, and we're doing a pro tip video number three. Semi-officially. Don't really do too many of these, and uh, they're pretty far in between, so easy to lose count. So, today we're talking about considerations before you purchase a Cry AVS. So if you're watching this video, then you may be considering buying the Cry AVS. Did a whole review on it before, but we're doing something like an updated pro tip, because much like the Cry structural plate carrier, the SPC, the cover button on that, you had to get a small. If you got a medium, that thing's wrapping back around, and you got your bungees over on the sides. Way too big. I don't know exactly how Cry came to these measurements <laughs> for differentiating between a small and a medium, because I'm generally always medium shirt, 32 or 34 pants, depending on how delicious food is, or if I had any injuries preventing me from working out. It's a pretty, pretty average build. A bit more muscular than some folks, but not as swole and out of control as, you know, the water dogs. <laughs> so, yeah, so, AVS harness. The first, foremost, biggest concern that people are going to be with again in AVS, unless you're getting the yoke or just running it as a slick plate carrier, the harness is kind of like the big key selling point for the AVS. So I was like, okay, well, let's get a medium harness, because I wear a medium. Some people say it's a little big, other people are like, ah, even if you're like a scanier guy, you're going to be fine. And the medium harness is gargantuan, to say the least. So here we have the medium harness, and some of the key things that no one really tells you, no one really takes photos or discusses it. There's a few chat discussions, but even though the chat discussion is like, ah, just get the medium. And even cry directly, they're like, oh, like, 5'9", goes to 180 pounds, yeah, medium, you'll be great. Well, if you max out your cordage, there's uh, not a whole lot of point in having a medium. So generally, when you're wearing your harness, I think the shoulders are just slightly longer, nothing like too crazy, but it's this uh, mid-piece here that you gotta be concerned about. So this, as you can see, is already crossing over the top of each other. Yeah, and it's actually pretty, pretty bad. You don't want these touching. You want, like, uh, that much space, so if you wear, like, heavier jackets and stuff, you're still off on the sides of the plate carrier, but that's touching at max. So, unfortunately, not very muy bien, so, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, little things of, uh, ladders here, and on the small, which I have currently, you see down there, the small harness has six, so that's removing an entire inch off of each side, plus a little bit more, because I think it's, a uh, bit shorter up here. Now other concern is these actual mounts back here. So these mounts are what you're going to use to connect your uh, plate or your freaking whatchamacallit, the uh, AVS 1000 pack. That's how these connect now. If these are really really close you're going to be able to run like the standard plate bag kind of okay but the spacing between that and the uh, AVS 1000 pack is actually greater so the AVS 1000 pack was off over on these sides, which means the pack had to sort of bend on itself. Not, not really great. In addition, with the uh, shoulders being so far forward, to have your front plate set up at the uh, sternum, where you really want your front plate, uh, it took a lot of work. So you had lots of cross coverage. And uh, this part here, I actually had my, um, freaking what you might call it, Cobra buckle run. And actually, it's on the left side, isn't it? Cobra buckle is actually like stuck up in here, so I'm pressing the things through the fabric and stuff, so it's pretty big. So, unless you're like a huge 200 pound man, you probably don't need the medium. You're gonna want air on the side of the uh, small. So I wore this previously, and let me, uh, let me grab the freaking plate bag here. So you see on the plate bag, I wish I had a table. <laughs> so on the plate bag here, Here's where your uh, mounting options are, basically for your webbing and stuff. So those tabs generally sit through the ear. Second one from the bottom, this one up here. These do their own sort of thing. So yeah, these are relatively closer to the center, whereas the actual AVS pack, they're farther off on the side, like these uh, these skinny pieces back over here. So yeah, you don't have as much uh, room to really work with there. So if you're running the plate bag, you can probably still get away with it. But if you're trying to run the AVS 1000 pack, then uh, probably not so much. Why run the pack over the standard plate bag, you ask? Well, other than the ability to have like a small little pack going on, most importantly, hydration. And I say hydration because where I'm at, it's stupid hot and humid 24-7, so if you're just outside in general, you want to have water. 
So if you're outside in armor, you definitely want to have water because you will become a heat casualty with a quickness. So now we've looked over, so that's basically everything on the medium. So what we got going on with this bag over here, oh my god, this is heavier than I remember. So yeah, we got the ABS 1000 pack on here. I have it seated as high up as possible because the plate's still going to sit relatively the same where I need it, but that lets me carry my water so if it keeps the uh, lower section from Rub it up against your belt line. Now for me, being 5'9", and not being blessed with the uh, six foot tall, I mean, we got the handsome parts, so I'll take what I can get, but not being six foot Superman, um, we're kind of limited to, I don't I don't like stuff rubbing against the plate, the uh, belt. It's, I just don't like it. I don't like stuff getting stuck or locking up, anything like that. So generally you want to wear your kit a lot and get around all that. So, with the medium harness, let me uh, pop this guy up over here real quick. As you can see, on this side, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that cuts a good two inches out. So that has allowed me, in effect, to loosen up the bungee a lot. So this actually sits off more so on the flanks than directly up against the spine and gives you a lot of breathability in the center here. So if we throw this guy on, I could take my hat off because I want to deal with the cobra buckle. Actually, you know what? Why not? Let's, let's deal with the cobra buckle for once. Good practice, right? Pop our cobra buckle here by taking the weight off first. Yep. Put that right part in. Grab over here. So this being a bit a little bit shorter, it does give me a lot more room to work with my cobra buckle, which I enjoy immensely. Uh, da -da -da -da. Put this in. Pop that. Slide this guy in here. Like it's comfy. Left a little bit of room. The uh, triple band cover bun does have to be moved up by uh, two molly spaces to compensate for the uh, added space of the uh, harness. So that I do lose a bit of room there. I still got my pouches. Everything sits really nice and comfy. Got a lot more breathability room. I started running my uh, cable down here. If you're looking for cable management, I find putting it under the uh, mag pouches and then just zip tying the extra piece over here means I can just pop this up and plug in my radio as so. So, neat fact right there for you guys if anyone was curious. But yeah, so running the medium harness, I got a lot more room up here on the shoulders. I don't think that's... It wasn't too noticeable comparing the um, harnesses together, but in actual effect of running it, great. So, everything since as you can see, we got not a lot of uh, scruffy scruff from the uh, bag, I think this is the bag hitting, yeah, the massive freaking eye pack I got down here, so. Everything else runs smooth. We can get our handgun going. There's the dot, yeah. Handgun can get dropped just fine. Mags and everything are still clear. Oh, where'd my, where'd my belt mag go? Uh, oops. Um, oh, there's one. Ah. We have our belt mag. You gotta make sure your belt and plate carrier are playing nicely, so with the medium, It'll click if I'm doing like a weird twist, but that's about it. So, and you're gonna be leaning a bit more forward anyway and doing your cool stuff. So, small harness makes a huge difference. And I'm not necessarily a small guy. If you're smaller than me, if you're under 5'9 and maybe close to like 130 pounds, you're probably gonna start maxing out the bungee on the small harness too. So, and when you max it out, you lose a lot of breathability. Like having your uh, spinal column kind of like free of a bunch of extra stuff on it. I don't know, it just feels nice. I like it. Gives you the looks of breathability, a little wind. Well, not really wind, but if you do get wind back there, you're going to get a nice little, uh, you know, breeze going. You're going to actually feel the breeze. You're not going to have just straight up plate on plate, up on the skin, being uncomfortable and stuff. So you can still run jackets and all that cool stuff under here. So, yeah, just, just in general makes everything better. So we take our rifle here. We throw this guy on, make sure it's clear. Yep. So we take this guy here, we're good, we got our mobility. Shoulder pocket is still nice and clean. But I think the small harness actually gives you a little bit more of a room to work. We switch sides, left side, yeah, still easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So yeah, not too much to really worry about in regards there. But yeah, so anyway, shorter sort of, um, Pro tip video for you guys, officially number three, so I can write that down somewhere 
And in uh, two and a half years when I do pro video number four, we'll have all that taken care of. So, that's all I got for you guys. So if you're looking to buy an AVS, and you're looking for some of the key concerns, harness-wise, err on the side of small. Especially if you run a, if you were an SPC in the past, the structural plate carrier, and you got a small cover bond, and you're like, wow, this still has a lot of extra material, you're probably going to want a small. If you run a small cover bond, and you're like, wow, this is, uh, this is pretty small, then you probably are a larger man, and you need, or woman, I guess, yeah, you're going to want to get a medium then, so. That's the uh, key considerations I have for the ABS. Things that I was initially concerned of before I even ordered mine, like, what, a year and a half, two years ago, was the size of the harness. And now we know. After, so let my, um, let my financial pain benefit you here now in the future if you're planning on buying one, so. Small harness, okay? Good. It's not actually small. Unlike their airframe helmet, where if you don't get a large, their large fits like a medium. I don't, I don't know what they're measuring with that cry precision, I really don't. So, yeah, um, you probably don't need a monolithic harness. And I've even got the, I've got the little ventilation pads in here. They don't really seem to be, they don't feel like they're doing much. But we're getting into summer, so they're going to be doing a lot then. But they don't throw it off too much, and everything still fits. Very, very comfy. So, yeah, that's um, pretty much everything I got for you. They get a lot of bungee. Look at how much bungee's there. I think I cut it down to, like, maybe that much is how much I've got free on the one I'm wearing now. So just enough to tuck out of the way into the AVS 1000 pack. And I'll probably do a review on the pack. I did a mini one in the past, and it's pretty nice because I got my Camelback in there. And with the harness keeping your plates from going all over the place, the Camelback actually stays in place, which means I can have my water, drink it, and not have a plate carrier up in my freaking throat all the time. So, finally, for good measure, if you're not doing pull-ups in your plate carrier, you're wrong. you got to be able to get some fitness in there, too. I only got to do one because I've been done with the cold. And uh, maybe in the future, if I start, uh, keep knocking them out and uh, stop getting colds because my youngest son decided to sneeze in my face last week. We'll do a video. I'll see. I'll try. I'll, I'll knock out at least 10. I'll see if I can knock out 20. It'll be a good time. We'll have fun, guys. Gives me something to work towards. So if you have any questions about the AVS that you need more pro tips on, feel free to let me know as I have one and it's comfy. So cheers. Stay chivalrous. I'll catch you all in the next video. And, uh, you know, drink LaCroix, I guess as a uh, debt of gratitude to General Lafayette. Cheers, guys. Stay, stay, uh, stay chill, stay safe. Um, yeah.